Hi everyone, this is a quick video on how to use your Unreal assets for CloneX in the Unreal Engine. So I'm going to jump right into it, open up Unreal Engine 5, and I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to click Games and just choose one of these templates, any of them will work, and keep everything else the same default settings. Now that it's loaded up, I'm going to find the content browser and find content. I'm going to right click on content here and choose show in Explorer. That's going to open up the Windows Explorer to the folder containing your contents inside your Unreal project. Now we're going to close the Unreal engine in here and we're going to find our zip file that contains our CloneX assets and it'll be something called combined.zip here. And it should have some folders within it, like this one, female, male, and texture. So I'm going to use the female assets in here. And in here you'll see all the formats, and we're interested in this underscore Unreal folder. I'm going to double click that, and you'll see a number of folders in here. I'm going to select them all, then I'm just going to copy them directly into the content folder of my Unreal project. Now that they're inside this content folder here, and one mistake some people might make is to create a subfolder in here, and you need to put it directly into the content folder, the root of this content folder here. So once you do that, go up one level back to your Unreal project, find your U project file here, and just double click it. Now inside the content browser, you'll see the new uh, CloneX Unreal asset here. You'll see a resources folder, which just contains some files that um, are needed, but the ones that we're interested in are in this character neutral neutral underscore F here. If I double click that, you'll see your CloneX asset and your blend shapes or your morphs on the side here that you can adjust and control. So I'm just going to repeat all those same steps for Unreal Engine 4.27 here, just for repetition. So I'm loading up Unreal 4.27. I'm going to click on Games and start a new blank template here. And let's choose the third person and then I'll just keep everything else the same here at default. So now Unreal 4.27 is loaded up and in the content browser down here, you'll see that the content folder, there's no um, side panel here and you can click this little icon there, show or hide the sources panel. And that opens up this uh, panel just like in Unreal 5. Now I'm going to find content again, and once again, right click and find show in Explorer and select that. That opens up our content folder inside our Unreal project. I'm going to close this out here. And I'm going to go back, find that combined zip file. This time let's use the mail one. And again, I clicked, uh, double clicked it here for the mail folder, and then underscore Unreal. Select all the folders inside here. Just copy it into that content root folder. You don't want to make any subfolders here yet, because uh, you need these files are linked based on their relative paths to the content folder. So they need to start out inside this um, content root folder here in order for the references to be able to load correctly. I'm going to go back out, double click on my U project. I'm 
and now we have our character neutral neutral underscore M here. I'm going to double click that and open that up. And there you have the clone X asset and your blend shapes or your morphs. And now once it's loaded here, now you can move these folders around and create new ones. And Unreal will automatically update the references to them. And you can only do this inside Unreal. If you try to do this now inside the Explorer, then you'll break your references. Another mistake that some people make is to they'll try to drag their zip files with the U assets directly into this content browser. That's going to uh, break um, the, the references because what happens is that Unreal won't recognize U asset files. It'll try to import them thinking it's a, an, an industry standard FVX or other interchange format. And so the only way to put U asset files into Unreal Engine currently is to close out Unreal Engine and then copy them into this content folder inside your uh, Unreal project. All right, that's it for this video.